Now releasing all goblins. Nanka! This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping on orders over $150, you can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic goblin gang. Hey gang, and welcome back. We've got another game with Tim, Fred, Justin, and myself battling it out. In today's game, we have surprisingly two players willing to play mono white, the first of which is Tim with Adeline. He's keeping Moonshaker Cavalry, Stoneforge Masterwork, Scrying Sheets, Nomad Stadium, and three Snowcovered Plains. Fred is rocking the Giada Angel deck with a Dowsing Dagger, two Plains, Austere Command, Angel of Destiny, Wrath of God, and Pearl Medallion. Justin is almost playing Mono White with his Boros Wyleth deck, keeping two Plains, Mindstone, Sword of the Animist, Mask of Avacyn, and Verge Rangers. I am playing Otrimi, which I know I think I said last time was my last time playing it, but let's be honest, I have no idea how many games I've filmed. I keep Morphic Pools, Souvenir Snatcher, Thrumming Bird, Forest, Serum Snare, Watery Grave, and Avraska's Fall. Oh, by the way, did I mention I turned it into an Infect deck? That's probably relevant to know. Tim wins an eye roll and starts us off. He draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains, and then taps it for Soul's Attendant. Fred also plays a Plains and casts Soul Ring, and follows up with a Dowsing Dagger, giving the plant tokens to Justin. I draw and play a Tapped Watery Grave. Justin draws and plays a Plains. Tim has another Plains return, and then casts Stoneforge Masterwork. After that, he passes. Fred draws and plays a Plains. He casts his Commander, which has Tim gaining a life, which I'm not going to narrate because it happens quite a bit, and he then equips her with the Dowsing Dagger before passing to me. I've got a Drowned Catacomb, and I then play a Thrumming Bird. Justin just plays a Plains and casts Mindstone. Tim draws and plays a Plains. He then casts his own Soul Ring, and once that resolves, has enough for his commander, Adeline, and passes. Fred draws and plays out a War Room for his land for turn. He then casts a Mithril Coat, which equips onto Giada, and then casts a Pearl Medallion. Going to combat, Fred swings Giada at Tim, who takes the hit for 4, and the Dowsing Dagger transforms. In his post-combat main phase, Fred is then able to cast an Angel of Destiny, which enters with a counter thanks to Jada, and he passes after that. I draw, play a Forest, and pass. Justin plays a Verge Rangers, however the top card of his library isn't a land, so he has to pass after that. Tim's got a Plains for turn, and moves the Stoneforge Masterwork to Adeline, and goes to combat. Before attacks though, I cast Frasca's Fall, which forces each of my opponents to sacrifice a creature and get a poison counter. Tim then swings Adeline at me, and her on attack trigger resolves, making a 1-1 going at each of Tim's opponents. Fred and Justin just block it, while I take the Adeline hit and the token hit for a total of 8. Fred draws and equips his Mithril Coat to the Angel of Destiny. He then casts Wrath of God. Everything gets wiped except for the Angel, and Fred then moves to combat. He swings the Angel of Destiny at Tim, which doesn't actually do any damage since it gains him life, but Fred does gain 6 life. After that, he casts Search for Glory to tutor for a legendary card, and passes. I draw, play an island, and cast Gem Razor. I then pass to Justin. Justin has a Sword of the Animist, but still can't find a land, and has to pass. Tim plays a Path to Exile in his main phase, and casts it on the Angel of Destiny. It gets exiled, and he then plays a Scrying Sheets and passes. Fred draws and replays Giada. Once she's out, he activates the War Room to draw a card and lose one and pass. I've got a Morphic Pool, and then cast a Glade Cover Scout having just drawn it, which is unfortunate since it's a great mutate target. I then pass turn. Justin has a land for turn finally with the Plains, and he then plays Leonin Abunus and passes. 
During his end step, Tim activates the scrying sheets, but doesn't hit a snow-covered land. Tim draws, and plays a Nomad Stadium. He then recasts Adeline, and passes. Fred's got a Plains, and then plays out Avacyn, Angel of Hope, and it enters with a counter thanks to Giada. He passes after that. I've got a Sunken Hollow for turn, and mutate a Souvenir Snatcher, and target the Soul Ring with its ability. Fred taps it to help activate the War Room in response, losing one and drawing a card, and the ability then resolves, and I steal a tap Soul Ring. I pass to Justin after that. Justin draws and equips the Sword of the Animus to his Leonin. He then plays Steel Shaper's Gift, and goes to find a Masterwork of Ingenuity. He then goes to combat, and swings at Tim for 3, and gets to find a mountain with a Sword of the Animist on attack trigger. Tim then just takes the hit, and after that, Justin passes, with Tim once more activating Scrying Sheets, but does take one from the Nomad Stadium, but fails to find a land. Tim draws, and plays out Terrain Generator. He plays a Grand Abolisher, since his turn is his turn, and he equips the Stoneforge Masterwork back onto Adeline. Going to combat, Tim swings his commander at Justin, which as she attacks, makes a soldier token coming at each of us. Fred and I block the ones coming at us, while Justin takes both Adeline and the token hit. After that, Tim passes. Fred draws and isn't happy with it, so he activates the War Room to draw again and lose one. He then plays Bonder's Enclave, and casts a Vanquisher banner, naming Angels. Going to combat, he swings Avacyn and Giada at me, and I block Giada with my Souvenir Snatcher. With nothing else, Fred passes. I draw and mutate an Archipelagor onto my stack, tapping down Adeline and Avacyn, and making them not untap during the next untap steps. I also get the mutate trigger from my Souvenir Snatcher, and I steal Tim's Soul Ring this time, and then pass to Justin. Justin plays Hammer of Nizan, which comes in and auto-equips onto the Leonin. He then plays Rograk and moves to combat. He swings the Leonin at Fred, who blocks with his indestructible Giada, but at least Justin gets to go and find a mountain from the Sword of the Animus trigger. He then passes, with Tim activating the Scrying Sheets once more, and once more fails to find. Tim draws and goes to combat. Adeline makes a soldier token that goes at each of us while sending his extra soldier at Justin as well, and Justin then takes the two hits from the soldiers, while Fred and I block the two newly made ones going at us. After that, Tim passes. Fred draws and plays Archangel of Thune, drawing a card from the Vanquisher's banner and putting two counters onto it thanks to Giada. He then plays an austere command, destroying all artifacts and any creature with mana value 4 or greater which has me responding by casting Serum Snare to save my stack. Fred's board then stays intact thanks to Avacyn, and he goes to combat. He then swings Giada at Tim for 3 in the air, and after that, passes. I draw and play Temple of Mystery, scrying 1 to the bottom. I then replay the Glade Cover Scout, and pass turn. Justin draws and plays Keeper of the Accord, and then passes, with Tim continuing to miss on his scrying sheets at the end of turn. Tim draws and goes to combat. He swings his commander at me, and a soldier token at each of us, and Fred blocks his soldier with the Archangel, and the Archangel of Thune gains him 5, which in turn puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter onto all of his creatures. Justin also blocks with the Keeper of the Accord, but sadly the Keeper doesn't do anything cool like the Archangel does. I take the full hit. After that, Tim passes, and Justin gets both a Plains and a Soldier token from the Keeper of Accord triggers. Fred draws and plays a Griffin Airy. He then plays out a Myria Shepherd, and draws a card, and puts three counters onto it. Going to combat, the Archangel of Thune goes at Justin, while Giada goes at me, and Avacyn goes at Tim. No one has any blocks at this point, but Justin does have a path to exile on Avacyn, which does save Tim some damage. With Fred getting to find a Plains, the Ameria Shepherd triggers, and he gets his Soul Ring back. 
and we take our damage with the Archangel, who gains Fred some life, which gets to put a plus one plus one counter onto everything afterwards. After combat, Fred then casts a Soul's Attendant and follows up with a Bag of Holding, before getting a Griffin during his end step with the Griffin Airy. Unfortunately we missed the Soul's Attendant trigger, since that would have triggered the Archangel as well, but what can you do? I draw and mutate the Archipelagor onto my scout, tapping down the Archangel of Thune and passing. Justin draws and plays Wyleth. He then plays Mask of Avacyn and passes. Once more, Tim activates the Scrying Sheets, but it's to no avail, and he moves to his turn. Tim draws and plays Court Street Denizen. He then plays Sword of Plowshares on the Soul's Attendant, which should trigger the Archangel, but again, we miss it, unfortunately. Going to combat, he makes his three soldier tokens as he swings, and uses all three of them entering to trigger the Court Street Denizen to tap down Fred's board. Fred then takes his hit while Justin and I block the tokens coming at us, and after that, Tim passes. Fred draws and activates Bag of Holding to loot, discarding a planes and exiling it under the bag. He then plays a Mary of the Sky Ruin, and then activates War Room again to draw a card. He follows that up with Thalia's Lancers to tutor up and put to hand Heliod Sun Crowned before moving to combat. Fred then swings Giada at Tim for 5 in the air, which he takes, and with nothing else, Fred passes. I draw and mutate the Souvenir Snatcher onto my stack again, stealing the Vanquisher's banner, and basically stunning the Archangel of Thune and Giada. After that, I pass turn. Justin draws and plays a Plains. He equips the Mask of Avacyn to Wyleth and swings it at Tim. Tim takes the hit, and after that, Justin passes, and once more, Tim activates the Scrying Sheets, but as per the norm, whiffs and then just moves to his turn. Tim draws and plays a Tarnished Citadel. He then taps out to play the Moonshaker Cavalry, giving his board a huge buff, not to mention flying. Going to combat, he divides up his creatures to go at each of us, with Adeline triggering and making three 1-1s, with one apiece going at each of his opponents. This gives him a bunch of triggers thanks to the Court Street Denizen, and he's basically able to tap down some blockers. After mathing it out, we realize that Justin and I will die from combat damage, while Adeline is certainly big enough at this point to deal lethal damage to Fred, and Tim takes the game. Game review time. This video was 1 hour, 2 minutes, and 35 seconds. And unfortunately all the changes I made to a Atremi really didn't show up at all. At this point I've kind of resigned myself to taking it apart and possibly rebuilding Ramos Mutate, plus an Infect deck on its own. Trying to combine the two seems silly in hindsight, and here we are. Plus I made that huge punt with the Serum spell, bouncing my stack as opposed to Fred's Avacyn, which would have set him back so much further. I thought Giada did a great job, Fred was very 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 threatening from the get go, and considering he was playing Mono White he was having a great time of ramping, not to mention drawing which really impressed me. In a similar vein, Adeline by Tim was really, really aggressive. She does so much as soon as she comes out, and you have to keep blocking those tokens, otherwise she gets so massive. Court Street Denizen is an incredible addition to the deck, as on attack, it allows you to tap down three blockers, which is just enormous. Justin unfortunately didn't have as good of a showing. His Wyleth deck was missing red for so long, and by the time and by the time he was finally able to get one from using the Sword of the Animist and attacking, he was so far behind. Considering he was playing a Boros deck, that's just really not where you want to be. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, Friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.